question says that Allah tells us to leave our business during Jum'ah. Can I run my business with a non-Muslim manager while I attend the prayer? Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, O oh, who you believe, Ya Yuhalladina Amanu. When the call for Friday prayer is given, then you should attend the prayer and abandon transactions, selling and buying. So the scholars say that it is prohibited to sell after the adhan is given for Jum'ah. And which adhan are we talking about? Because there are two adhans that precedes Friday prayer. Is it the first adhan or the second adhan? The answer is, it is the second adhan. It is the adhan that follows the entrance of the Imam to the masjid and greeting the worshippers by saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. When the, the Mu'adhin starts to give the adhan, this is when all transactions are not only prohibited, but also void. Meaning that if someone buys and sells, his transaction is void. After he finishes salat, as if nothing had happened, he should get his money back, he should give the product back, and they should make a new transaction because they have committed a major sin and it is void and it is prohibited. Now we're talking about the ideal situation. When we are in a Muslim country, the adhan is given, this is, there's a masjid and people are praying in it. Let's go a little bit out of this ideal situation. What about if a person is in a kafir country, a non-Muslim country, and there is a masjid nearby, he's got a shop that sells um, commodities, sells um, med medicine, sells food, and half an hour before the salah starts, he goes to the masjid. But he has with him a salesman or the manager of the shop who is not a Muslim. And is this permissible or not? Scholars differ. Some say this is not permissible. Why? They say because the disbeliever, the salesman or the manager of the shop that you have left, is also addressed by the major and the minor aspects of Islam. So the Muslim is addressed by offering prayer, by giving zakat, by fasting Ramadan, the non-Muslim is addressed by the same orders. And this is what he will be punished for not doing on the Day of Judgment. Though he is not Muslim, though he is not a believer, but this would add more punishment to his original sin, to his original uh, um, disbelief. So they say that this is not permissible for him to sell. Others say that this is permissible because he's not asked, he's not addressed to pray Jum'ah. And if he does, it would not be accepted from him. And they say that a woman is exempted from the prohibition of transactions after the Adhan. So can a woman sell to another woman after the Adhan of Jum'ah? The answer is yes. Can a slave? The answer is yes. Can a child? The answer is yes. Can a traveler? The answer remains to be yes. If they are selling to someone who is not addressed by Friday prayer, who is not ordered to pray Friday, who is exempted from praying Friday, in this case, this is permissible. So, by weighing these two opinions, I feel that if this kafir salesman is going to sell to a non-Muslim, in a non-Muslim country, this is totally permissible and Allah knows best. We 